Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to our Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I'm participating in the 12 Days of Christmas, the thrifted item for holiday decor. This is the last day for this, and I'm finally jumping in on it. I'll have a link to the playlist below and more on the hosts of this great collaboration a little bit later in the video. So I started out doing a project. I made up some of the Sweet Pickens milk paint in the color Red Wagon, and they were these shutters here, and that will be in a future video. I had some paint left over, and milk paint is not good to hang on to, so I decided that I would work on this can, and I really should have sprayed this black first, or another color, but I did not. And I mean, it worked out fine. It looks great, but I really wish I had done something a little different. That blue color was just hard to cover. It took two coats of the milk paint to cover this and then a few touch up spots here and there as I went along and it dried and I saw that it was not covering well in some spots, but eventually I did get it all covered over well enough to my liking. I acquired a pretty heavily damaged songbook with some notes and songs in it, and I thought this would look really good on the front of my, my little can here. So I ripped out a piece of the song and I uh, just used my little water pen that my friend Paige gave me, and I wanted it to have just a nice uh, ripped edges so that I could put that on the front of my can. So I just use that. It's a little bit of water in there. I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested in one of these. A paintbrush would work too. But this works really well. And I just go around where I want to rip it and then the water just does all the work for me. It softens it enough so that I can rip around the piece that I want. Once I figured out where I wanted it exactly, I put something on either side of my little can so it wouldn't roll. It does make it a lot easier. And I just took my Mod Podge and I'm putting it in the spot on the very front that I want to add my music notes. So I am just, I'm going to cover the whole can with Mod Podge to seal it. But for right now, I'm doing just this section so that I can get the music piece down. And here I'm just measuring how big I need to make my area for my Mod Podge. It doesn't really matter again because I'm going to be doing the whole piece. But I just want to get this down so it will dry because I have a transfer that I want to put over the top of it. And I want to make sure that transfer will stick. And I feel like if the Mod Podge is still wet underneath there, it won't stick very well. So now I'm just going to add my little... Um, my music notes. I had to stand up to make sure that I was getting it on there straight and uh, just rubbing it down. There were a few little wrinkles in it, but it actually went down very well. It's pretty nice paper. And I'm just going to go around the edges and make sure that those are all down really well so it doesn't peel up. Once I got the edges of the paper down and got it so that it will start drying, I started to go over the rest of the can with my Mod Podge. And this is just to seal it all in. Milk paint uh, scratches off pretty easily and the underneath paint on this was almost like a milk paint itself. So I wanted to make sure that it stayed on there really well. I like this look. It actually was a little tiny bit shiny and once I was done and it dried, and I really kind of liked the look on it for a little Christmas themed tin. I wanted to use this Candy Cane Cottage IOD transfer booklet that I got. I have a few transfers left in this, and one of them is this really cute little Santa. Once my tin was all dry, I placed him down on the music notes and then just burnished it and, well, rubbed it on uh, to the music notes and then burnished it over the top. 
I think this looks really cute and all the colors seem to work really well together. I really like how this came out. I like the layered look and I like the little bit of shininess for this little tin uh, for Christmas. I really like that. Now, because I want this to have an old aged look, I'm going to use a little bit of my antique wax and a dampened cloth. And I'm just going to go around the edges to see if I can darken them up and make them look a little more aged. So I just go all the way around with that dampened cloth. If I don't like it, I go back and I can kind of wipe it back a little bit. But I really like the darkening effect that it has. It gives it kind of a nice frame for that little Santa Claus. And before I seal it, I like to do that and then I'll seal over the whole thing with more Mod Podge. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of black paint and go around the edges to highlight the edges give them a distressed look that way instead of sanding it back. This helps the tin have more definition. You're not going to see all of it because I will have a homespun tie on the top of it, but it just peeks in and out and you know that it has been distressed. So while I had the black paint out, I decided I didn't have enough distressing on my label evidently, and I wanted to add a little bit of black with my damp paper towel, and then I just wipe it back, and that just gives it a little more of an aged look. I'm going to take some homespun material, rip it down to a little uh, ribbon size, and I am going to tie that around the top. That's why you won't be able to see all the black distressing that I have, but you will be able to see some. And so I'm going to tie that on there, add a little bit of greenery in amongst my tie, trim it up, and this piece is done. Not going to do any changes to this cute little treasure box that's it's wide open it's just got all these little squiggles and things and I thought it would be great just to decorate for Christmas and then of course you could change it out for the seasons the holidays it doesn't have to be just for Christmas I was going to paint it black but changed my mind and decided that I would try and resell it the way it is uh, just decorate it a little bit and then, um, you know, somebody else can change it if they want to. If it doesn't sell, I'll bring it home, paint it black, make it up primitive, and I'm sure it would sell. <laughs> but um, so I tried these big red berries in there and I just did not like it. And I searched around to find something else and I had these this pit berry ring that I really, I just love these. Um, and this has the star on it. I think this was thrifted too. So I added some greenery into my little treasure chest here and then my pit berry ring and then a battery operated candle. Now, of course, you could grubby this up and make it more primitive if you wanted to. This is just to show you something that I'm going to do up for my booth. So uh, these are little cedar sprigs that I take off a little tree that I got from Timu. I got a two pack and I've been pulling one of them apart because they're really easy to take apart and it adds a lot to uh, my greenery and changes it up with a different color, a different texture. And so I think it adds quite a bit to, you know, to a vignette or whatever you're going to use it in. So I added some pine cones, of course, and I'm going to add this tie on the top of it. 
And then simple as that, this piece is done for a nice display for your Christmas decor. I hope you enjoyed my projects today and don't forget to go down and check out the playlist of the 12 days of Christmas put on by Rustic and Lace DIY and Molly Cole Creations. Those are our two hosts for this wonderful collaboration. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day.